Hi. Good morning. I am. Uh, I was just having my uh, morning coffee and eating an an Easter egg bunny. It's not too early for those. They were in the store. I couldn't resist. Um, I just got like my. I don't know how many. I lost count. Just just another hateful comment online from someone who doesn't even have the courage to have a real name. Like, creates a fake account, a fake name, doesn't even have the courage to have themselves attached to the garbage they spew out. And I'm just starting to realize, like, I was thinking about, like, the, the Smollett case. And I don't think the news reporter who first broke that I don't think they're going to get in trouble because they brought in thousands of dollars in advertising for their companies. I mean, that's like a huge sale. Like if you sell construction supplies and there's like three full new houses that buy your supplies, like you're getting a raise. And in terms of uh, journalism, they brought in so much web traffic, so much traffic. We're all clicking on it. Every time we click, they get money. And then they retract the story. Now we're clicking on that. They're getting even more money. So I don't think it's a rarity. I think we're going to continue to see this happening because the, the news corporations just made so much money off the Smollett case, off it coming out. And then they get again, when they retract the case, they get you again. You're clicking it even more. It's, it's anything that, that creates a buzz like that. And we're going to see more and more stories like this because they just made so much money. And if they don't, if, as, a, as, a, as a business, if you don't look at that and be like, wow, that was like the most successful story in a long time, and then try to repeat that model, of course they are. And I think we just have to get to the point where we don't believe it too much. In 2009, I was in a bank and I, I was in small talk with the teller. And I told her uh, the assignment that I gave in my class was current events. And that's where you read a newspaper and write two paragraphs on your story. And she goes, oh, I don't know if I'd be doing that. That's all, it's all propaganda. And I, I thought she was an insane person. I was like, what? Like, it's all propaganda. But then like, I think it was like not much more than like a year later, I quit giving that out as an assignment just because the news did turn crazy. And you just have to realize, look, it's a for-profit business. When you click, they get money on advertising dollars, okay? The more clicks they're getting, the more they can charge for an advertisement banner on that website. There's also pay-per-click algorithms. I, that was my first job was I, I sold online ads when I was 13. Um, headlines are gonna be sensationalized. Stories are going to be exaggerated. You have to read between the lines a little bit and not just be so fanatical about every single thing you see. It's insane, okay? Don't you, don't you look and realize at some point that you were fanatical for nothing? Like, don't any of these things, can't you look at it like, a, like two months later and just be like, oh, I didn't need to go outrageous like that. Like, like there was a story, oh, if Obama gets elected, he'll take away all the guns. Uh, like it, it didn't happen. Maybe it's a slower process <laughs> it started, but uh, you know, any of this stuff, don't you ever just look and realize like, oh, I didn't need to go off the rails, fanatical. It didn't, didn't need to happen. Just realize, okay? More and more fake stories are coming up. Uh, at some point, okay, the news isn't gonna go away. We're not going to stop clicking it, but you can stop believing it as it's gospel or something. Uh, just think about it a little bit. Be like, does this make sense? Like with that Covington kid, they were like, oh, he's screaming racial slurs. I'm like, oh, I got to see this. So I click on it and I'm like, he's not doing anything. He's not. He's sitting there smiling. And like, everyone's like, oh, this kid, they were posting his school's address. They posted, someone in the comments on Yahoo posted his school's address and says, here, I see we tell them what we think. And she lived in like LA or something. It's like, yeah, like some Kentucky school needs to be listening to you and your fanatical garbage. Like, oh my God. So I actually commented her. I'm like, you don't even, we don't even know what happened. He was smiling at a guy. That's all we know at this point. 
was that he was smiling at a person. I'm like, he's not doing what you said. Like, he's already getting expelled. What do you want them to do? Like, how much more do you want this kid to be punished? That's insane. Like, oh, let's all call the school. These stupid, these, the internet's enabling just the most ignorant political movements that have ever existed. Ah, this just drives me nuts. I miss the days where, like, to be printed, to have your words printed, you had to toil for hours, copy after copy. You had to take it around to dozens of publishers, rejection after rejection. And then finally, you could like, after all these editing, you, you could get something in print. And now it's just, it just, it goes out. That's it. Much like this video. <laughs> Thank you for watching.